Hello everyone. In this lesson, we will answer the question, what is a plugin? A plugin lets us add new functionality or new features to our WordPress website. Or in other words, when we want WordPress to be able to do something that it can't do out of the box, we can install a plugin to make the impossible possible. Here's a quick metaphor. So think of your kitchen as your WordPress website. And when you first moved into your house, imagine that your kitchen did not have a dishwasher machine. And so you had to wash all of your dishes by hand. So that means in order to add the feature of automatic dishwashing to your kitchen, you need to install a dishwashing machine. So think of the dishwashing machine as a plugin. You add it into your kitchen. You install it within your kitchen to add the new functionality and new features of automatic dishwashing. The same is true with WordPress. When we want WordPress to be able to do something new that it previously could not do, we just install a plugin. There are thousands of plugins to choose from that can add all sorts of new features. For example, in this lesson, why don't we use plugins to improve our photo galleries? So if I use my main navigation to navigate to the photo gallery page, and then if I click on one of these thumbnail images, so maybe if I click on the elephant image, it opens the high resolution photo in a new page. And then visitors of our website have to use the back button on their web browser to switch back to the photo gallery. And you'll remember in our previous lesson, we discussed why that's less than ideal. And we reviewed how it would be better if instead when we clicked on one of the thumbnails, it opened up a larger copy right here and the rest of the screen turned transparent black. And maybe there were also arrows to switch back and forth to the previous and next photos. In the web design industry, we commonly refer to a pop-up photograph like that as a light box. Now by default, WordPress does not support light box functionality, but we can leverage the power of plugins to add that light box pop-up functionality or feature to our website. So check this out. Let's begin by switching over to the admin dashboard of our website. I can use this link in my top bar to navigate to my admin area. Remember, you can always get to your admin area by adding slash WP admin to the end of the root of your website URL. And if you're not already logged in, WordPress will just ask for your username and password. Okay, so from our dashboard, let's look in the left-hand sidebar about a little more than halfway down for the item named plugins. All right, now your plugin screen might not look exactly like mine. Depending on which web host you're using, you may or may not have this top area that you see here. It's entirely possible that your plugin screen only contains the part that I'm highlighting right now. And that's a-okay. That's actually what I would prefer. So if your plugin screen looks like mine and you do have this top area, for the time being, I recommend we use this top right X icon to close out of it. Basically what's going on is some web hosts pre-install a plugin named Jetpack, and this is just the Jetpack specific menu options up here. So for the time being, I'm going to close out of that. We don't need to look at it. We can always bring it up again later. Okay, and now everyone's plugin screen should look very similar. So here we see a list of all of the plugins that are currently installed. Again, different web hosts will pre-install different plugins. For the time being, none of these plugins matter. Okay, we can review those at a later date. For now, let's try something fun. Let's try to add a new plugin to our WordPress that will add the light box pop-up behavior to our photo galleries. So what we want to do is add a new plugin. So you can either click the add new button right here towards the top, or you can click add new under the plugins menu in the sidebar. All right, now this screen lets us choose from thousands of free plugins. Now nine times out of 10, you're probably just gonna wanna jump right to this top right search bar area because you're probably looking for a specific plugin to solve a specific issue. So in my case, I will use this top right search bar and I will search for Lightbox. Okay, so we can see that that brings up all sorts of Lightbox related results. 
Now sometimes the results can be overwhelming. All of these plugins claim to do basically the same thing, right? They all promise to create a pop-up light box when you click on an image, right? And the pop-up will show you a larger, higher resolution copy of the photograph. So you might be wondering, how in the world are you supposed to choose one of these plugins uh, when there's so many of them and they all seem so similar? Well, that's a really good question. And there's not really a scientific or correct answer, but I can tell you what I usually do. So let's take this first plugin as an example. Notice here, it tells us how many active installs it has. So for this plugin, this means that over 50,000 people, or I guess I should say 50,000 different WordPress websites are currently using this plugin. So I would always choose a plugin that has a lot of active installs. Odds are, if a lot of other people are relying on a plugin, it's probably a quality solution. So for example, this plugin, you can see that it only has about 1,000 active installs. Now I'm not saying that this is a bad plugin. For all I know, it's the best Lightbox plugin in the universe. <laughs> but it's up to you to sort of test out and try the different plugins. There's no scientific way to select a plugin here. You kind of just have to do your own research. Also, word of mouth is a huge factor when it comes to plugins. As the weeks and months and years go by of you using WordPress, you will hear your peers and other WordPress users talk about certain plugins. You'll hear the same plugin names get recommended again and again and again. So as a real life example of word of mouth, I can tell you that one of the top Lightbox plugins uh, is called Responsive Lightbox. So I just search for Responsive Lightbox. And it's this one. It's named Responsive Lightbox by D Factory. Now I'm not saying that any of the other Lightbox plugins are bad. All I'm saying is that I've had very good experiences with this plugin in the past. And we can see that it has over 200,000 active installs. Uh, so I'm not alone in enjoying this plugin. So you're free to use whatever plugin you like, uh, but for the purposes of this course, why don't you search for and use this same plugin as me, Responsive Lightbox by D Factory, and then you can just click this Install Now button. It should just take a few seconds to install, and once it completes, then the button will turn into an Activate button. So go ahead and click the blue Activate. That takes me back to my main plugin screen, and here we can see a message that reads, Plugin Activated. Okay, so let's take it for a test drive. So if I use this link in my top bar to switch back to my public facing website, and use my navigation to jump to my photo gallery page, now if I click on the elephant thumbnail here, here we can see the large resolution copy of the photo, only now I have this X in the top right corner. So if I click that, it takes me right back to the photo gallery. So if I go back into the large version, I can also push the escape key on my keyboard to go back to the gallery. And you'll also notice these arrows down at the bottom portion of the screen. So I can click on this forward facing arrow to go to the next full resolution photo. You get the idea. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Pretty cool. So now users don't have to use the back button in their web browser. Instead, they're presented with a nice light box pop-up experience. And this particular plugin that we used is very flexible. So we're free to customize it a bit. So if we use this link in my bar to jump back to my admin dashboard, and then in the sidebar, look for plugins again, Within this list of all of our installed plugins, we see Responsive Lightbox down here. And if we click on this Settings link under Responsive Lightbox, this first option here lets us customize the particular Lightbox styling that gets used. So the current Lightbox behavior that's getting used is called Swipe Box. But if we switch it to Fancy Box, so I check that option, and then if I scroll down to the very bottom and click Save Changes, we see this message, Settings Saved, perfect. Let's close that message and also let's close this message that says, Thank you for installing Responsive Lightbox. So you can just use this X over on the right hand side to close that. All right, and now that we switched from Swipe Box to Fancy Box, let's go look at our public facing website and see how that looks. 
So jump over to the photo gallery page and click on the elephants. And immediately we can see this is a different experience. So now the entire screen isn't blacked out, just the left and right edges are sort of a transparent gray. And if I hover over the image, we can see this right facing arrow right here. That lets me switch through the images. If I hover over the left hand side of the image, we have an arrow to go back this direction, you get the idea and we can use the X right here to close the light box. Okay, so it's up to you to choose which specific light box option you wanna use. But the important point here is that we just leveraged the power of plugins to create the exact photo gallery experience that we wanted. Now that will bring this lesson to a close, but I do wanna let you know that there are plugins for basically anything and everything you can think of. 99 times out of 100, if you think of a feature in your mind for your website, someone has already created a WordPress plugin for it, and odds are they've added it to that free list of plugins that we can search from. Now just to whet your appetite a bit, I'll let you know that towards the end of this course, when we work on the Contact Us page, we will leverage several new plugins to create a highly interactive contact page. So don't worry, this is not the last time that we will talk about plugins in this course. In fact, even aside from the Contact Us lessons, there are a few other moments where we will install and leverage additional plugins. Now changing gears a bit, in our next lesson, we're gonna jump back to blog posts. We're going to address one of the simplest but most powerful aspects of WordPress. I'm referring to categories. Categories will open so many new doors for us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's keep things rolling, and I will see you in the next lesson.